Hey everyone, it's Patrick from Mercedes-Benz Burlington. We're just down the road because we thought we'd come outside and enjoy the sun. It's a little bit hot for a suit, but you gotta dress the part. So I'm out here. You might be able to even hear them cutting the grass. You can hear the birds chirping. We wanted to change the scenery from our dealership. So we've already looked at the all new E-Class just a few weeks ago, but I wanted to highlight this car because this is the all new 2024 E350, but it's the first one we've got with the upgraded rims, the night package, and the all new, very anticipated super screen on the inside. So let's take a look at this car in depth. Like we mentioned before, it does have a few new colors. So we're gonna do the verde or verde green. I don't know how to say it yet. We also have the velvet brown exterior paint that's coming for this car as well. It's got the 255 horsepower engine. That's with the electric motor and a two liter four cylinder turbo engine. Let's take a look at the car. Looking at the front of the vehicle, this has the upgraded digital light package as well. There is a standard light and a digital that adds the um, active light inside, so it actually bends with the road as you drive. It also has this all new grille with the little stars on the inside, but what's cool about this is with the pinnacle trim, you can also actually have the whole illuminated grill. So around the exterior frame of the grill will actually illuminate with your lighting system at night. That's something that's brand new that is really cool to see. You can't see it during the day, but at night it looks beautiful. Coming around on the side, you can also see, like I said in the night package, you can upgrade the rim. So this has the upgraded all black multi-spoke wheel. One of my favorites for the car because it's in a 20 inch, but it doesn't affect the ride too much because you can go up to a larger rim as well. On the back you have the all new E-Class lights, kind of going to be like the pinnacle of the Mercedes-Benz lights right now because you can see the little Mercedes-Benz stars in the tail lights. Beautiful design and it's more of a 3D vibe at night so it really looks cool in the night kind of to go hand in hand with that front new grille. You've got the rear tail lights so you've got that luxury look coming all the way across the car. This is the 350 as mentioned. It does come in the 450. That would give you the uh, six cylinder engine as well and a little bit more horsepower if you need a little bit more power. Let's get inside. Touch the handle, they pop out. This has the leather upgrade, so this is the new Tonka brown interior. Beautiful, it really ties in with the black. But what I really wanna show you guys is that new super screen. Let's experience it while we take this thing on a drive. I haven't been in one yet. <sighs> Feels smooth so far. The, um, the first E class, we had an E350 that came in. The first one that we did, unfortunately it was sold. I mean, fortunately it was sold, but unfortunately it was sold because I couldn't take it on the road and I wanted to experience the drive. So this is my first driving experience with the vehicle. Uh, this is the um, four cylinder, so the two liter four cylinder turbo, but it has the first electrified um, engine for this new style of car. It's been in the previous ones, but I haven't experienced it with this all new super screen. I'm very excited to see it. It's really giving me a hyper screen vibe. The main difference people ask all the time, like, okay, now there's a super screen, there's a hyper screen, there's a crazy screen, there's, what's the next screen? So the difference between the hyper screen and the super screen technically is it has different dimensions. It's also a two piece system. What I mean by that is the hyper screen is one unit. There's three displays in the unit, but it's one single piece. So you've got the drivers, the center and the passenger. For the super screen, it's the center and passenger only. I do have an equally large screen display for the driver, but it's a separate piece. So when you actually look at the front dash, there's two pieces that make up the screen. So that's what makes it the super screen. Um, it's very cool to see because I actually think I prefer the super screen to the hyper screen. It's a little bit easier to place. It looks almost the same, um, but I like having the rigid 90 degree angle drivers versus the one that was slanted and then having the slant for the rest of the display. I think that that's a better design um, for the vehicle. So I do like that a lot. Now, what else comes with the super screen you ask? Good question. You might be able to see this little camera that's looking at me. This car actually now has face recognition software. It also, because you gotta have the little fun luxuries, it has a selfie cam. I don't know if this works while you drive. Don't do this at home. Okay, so if you go to the apps, you hit camera, 
Oh, not available at current speed. We've thought of every safety. So I'm gonna show you this after, but there's actually a selfie camera. So it actually gets the driver and the passenger side. And if you have somebody in the back and they lean forward, you could probably see them as well. So that's pretty neat. Um, a few other cool things on here is you do have the browser on here as well. So you can actually, you know, use different search engines right on the screen as well, like a nice laptop. You've got the comfort menu. You've got the ambient light with new appointments for the ambient light too. So it kind of elevates the ambient light stylings that you can do. And that's still throughout the door and all the way up front across the dash now too. So it's across the whole dash uh, as well. So it looks really cool in that setting. Now, the last thing I wanted to say about the super screen is the other cool thing about it is you can download extra apps. So you've actually got the gallery here where you can have photos. You can add things to the gallery from your phone and you can have any photo you want on the passenger side screen. So the passenger side screen now is part of the super screen as well. What's nice about the passenger side screen is the passenger can actually use that screen as a secondary screen. So it's fully touched for the passenger to use. When it's just you, the driver, or if the passenger is not using it, you can have it on a resting screen. Right now I have it on the date with, you know, just a nice picture and you can go into the uh, system and change that. So if you go to displays, and go to uh, passenger side, you can turn that off or you can change the decorative image to something else. So you can change the home screen, you can change the design. So right now I'm driving in the sport design and you can also change the decorative image that you have. So you can actually download, I have a client who's already put a picture of their grandchild onto their phone and then loaded it onto the car. And now uh, he, when he's driving, his wife can look at a picture of their grandchild on the passenger screen in front of her. So that's kind of neat. And that's kind of a real world example of what you can put on the car. I like kind of having the stock images just because I like having, you know, a modern look to it, but it is kind of cool to have a different gallery that you can look through on the super screen as well. Looking at the rest of the car, very, very smooth driving. You've got similar appointments. So you've got the new uh, steering wheel as well that crossed over from 23 into 24. You've got the new design uh, front dash. You've got the new design trim. So a nice big piece trim. This is in the wood trim as well. Um, obviously, if you get the super screen, you don't get it on the dash, but if you just had the regular, because the super screen is an upgrade, then you would have the uh, trim on the uh, dash as well. So on the passenger side, you'd have some of the trim as well. The super screen upgrades um, on there. There's other little upgrades that the car has on the outside as well, like the night package with the wheels, as I mentioned. Um, but other than that, this car kind of is a pretty, you know, well-balanced spec. It doesn't have every single option. It doesn't have the pinnacle on this specific unit, um, but it does have kind of similar appointments. So they've done something with like just a night styling package and then the super screen to have it as a well-appointed 350. In the 450, some items are standard as well, but the thing with the um, 450 is you have to be comfortable with that V6. So now with the new electrified engine, really you don't need the power. Some people like having the V6. I'm one of those people. Um, but in the E, I don't know because for the luxurious drive, it's smooth and quiet with the four cylinder. Uh, I like the V6 on um, some of the bi turbo options and some of the performance AMGs, but on the E, it's not really necessary. It's been really whisper silent as I drive through here. I really quite like it. Man, I wish I brought a, <laughs> wish I brought a USB to record some of these selfies I've taken on here. So you do need to plug um, a storage device into the vehicle uh, to get the photos on here. So as soon as you plug that in, then you can actually record through here. So that's kind of neat. And then uh, <laughs> you could save it so other people could look at your pictures on your car. Uh, it's really cool actually seeing the screen in action because I feel like we've been waiting for it to come for so long, but uh, let's continue this drive. So let me make a no little- No route information is available. Uh-oh. Can you say it again? No, I could... no route information. It's Traffic okay. information is not a- I think I asked it to navigate somewhere by mistake when I touched the super screen. Uh, okay, so um, looking at the- um, Looking at the actual like infotainment system when you're pulled over is a little bit weird because it feels like a laptop now. Like even the size of the screen is similar to it. So you can really get lost in it. I feel like it's cool for passengers too because there's so much more to do when you're in the car uh, in terms of being involved in the driver experience. Um, you know, when you have uh, somebody connected and playing music and that sort of thing too while you go on longer drives. 
the driver experience I think would be so much more heightened in this car because of the super screen. So anyways, I'm rambling. I think I think I probably said super screen in this video like a hundred times, but um, it's, it's, it's what I'm here to talk about. I would 150% recommend the super screen if you are looking at the all new E-Class. There is no doubt about it because without the super screen, the inside is still very elevated, but I think that that is the number one thing about the new car. The outside looks amazing. The new wheels I quite like. The new design on the front and the back I quite like as well, but the definitely the touch point on this car is a super screen. So get in touch with us, uh, YouTube, Instagram. It's Patrick from Mercedes-Benz, and let us know what you think of the super screen. Let us know what you think of the new appointments. We are going to have some new models coming in in some of the new paint as well for the showroom. This vehicle will be available as well to test drive and come experience the screen with me if you like. And um, we are taking orders as well. So we have orders available for the E350, orders available for the E450, and we just announced that we are going to be getting the E53. So the AMG um, in this new body style will be coming too with some of the AMG appointments. So really excited to review that once it lands as well. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave a comment and you know let me know if there's something else you want me to drive or cover on the screen. There's a lot more to the E-Class. We did do a walk around in our showroom and now we've done the drive with the super screen. But if there's something you want me to take the E-Class out for a third time, you just let me know. And we might even cover the new engine on the 450 once it arrives too. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you soon.